seven epic trips to take on planet Earth. Kirkenes is a winter wonderland in the far northeastern part of Norway, just a few miles away from the Russian border. Red King Crab is an invasive species here, and it also happens to be one of the most sought after shellfish in the world. The average weight for a male Red King Crab is around six pounds, and its leg span can grow up to nearly six feet. With only a few hours of daylight to work with in winter, we took a snowmobile sledge to an ice covered fjord. We used an ice auger to drill a hole in the ice. We learned how to properly pull up traps and how best to knock out the crabs. It's super rare to eat fresh Red King crab, since most of what you get in a restaurant or a supermarket is frozen. Tasting our fresh catch was a real treat. Port du Soleil is a mega resort in the French and Swiss Alps and one of the largest ski areas in the world. After suiting up, all we had to do was run off the edge of the slope and let the parachute do the rest. Mont Blanc, the highest peak in Western Europe, kept us oriented as we gained elevation, finding pockets of warm air called thermals and riding them like birds. Before I knew it, we were doing wingovers. To do so, my expert instructor harnessed the energy from turning the glider in one direction and used it to make a more aggressive turn in the opposite direction. For me, this trip was all about having fun, trying new things and not taking myself too seriously. Nothing could have prepared me for how beautiful and awe-inspiring Machu Picchu actually was when you see it in person. And when I finally got to Machu Picchu, it was like this feeling inside me that just, I felt so happy and so alive. To finally get to this destination and know that not everyone gets a chance to see this in the way that I saw it was in truly incredible. And I'm so thankful for the experience. Mount Kilimanjaro is located in the East African country of Tanzania. It is the highest mountain in Africa and also the world's tallest freestanding mountain. The physical preparation for our trek involved training in a simulated altitude chamber where we could artificially decrease the amount of oxygen available for our bodies. When we finally got to the summit, it was just the most incredible feeling. We had been planning this trip for well over a year and to see everything to come together and for all of us to make it to the summit safely was just a huge accomplishment. The country of Tonga is a tiny South Pacific nation that is about a three hour flight to the northeast of New Zealand. It's near Fiji, Samoa, other South Pacific nations. And it's just an incredible destination. It is one of the only places in the world where you can swim with humpback whales. Yeah, you, you heard that right seeing the mother whale and her newborn calf interacting, playing in the water. The calves are like little puppies. They're so curious, they'll, they'll come close to you and check you out. Uganda is one of only three countries in the world where you can see mountain gorillas in their natural environment. My goal was to go all the way to this deep southeast corner of the country, right near the border of the Congo and Uganda to the windy, impenetrable national park to be able to go trekking to try to find the mountain gorillas. There aren't really any words that can describe the feeling of standing face to face with one of our closest relatives on the planet. Seeing the facial expressions on each of the different gorillas, seeing the silverback and how protective he was of his family, and seeing how playful and curious some of the younger gorillas were, it was just an incredible experience. A while back, I had the chance to visit one of my top bucket list destinations, which is a small island off the coast of mainland Australia called Tasmania. Tasmania is known for being rugged, wild, remote. Tasmania is home to some really cool wildlife, including the Tasmanian devil. We also saw all kinds of wallabies, paddy melons, kangaroos, wombats. Where do you think we should go next? Let us know in the comments.